What is going on everybody? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel on this wonderful Wednesday. As we all know, another week has gone full of thrillers and for me, full of heartbreaks. But, hey, there is always something that can cheer us up. Number one, the Saints lost. <laughs> Number two, another week is here for football. Football for week three of the NFL 2020 season starts back up tomorrow night. Um, so, obviously, I got to give my game pick. So, last week, I went 13-3 and with my only three losses being the Rams and Eagles game as I predicted the Eagles to win. The Bills and Dolphins game, which I actually did predict the Dolphins to win. And then I think y'all know the third game by now. The um the Cowboys Falcons game. I don't even want to talk about that game. So without further ado, let's get into these predictions. So we are going to start off with the Thursday night football game with the Miami Dolphins going up to North Florida to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. This should be a pretty good game, I will admit. It has potential to go either way. It can definitely be a 50-50 game. But I'm going to give the Jaguars a win here. I think with what the Jaguars have done the past two weeks, you know, winning versus Indianapolis and then going down to the wire versus the AFC runner-ups in the Tennessee Titans for last year, I really do think that the Jaguars do show a little bit of potential and have shown that, you know, they can make something out of the lack of talent that they do have that they can make something out of nothing. So I am going to give a Jaguars win 23-21 to 21 on Thursday night. Next game on the docket, we have the 2-0 Las Vegas Raiders. It kind of still sounds weird saying that, especially that 2-0. Going to New England and facing the 1-1 one one Patriots. Um, I definitely do think that this has potential to be, once again, another really good game that... Dare I say it could maybe go back and forth, but I'm going to give New England a win here. I think that after what happened last week in Seattle where they were stopped on the goal line, I think that Belichick is out for revenge, Cam is out for revenge, and they are going to get the job done versus Vegas. Vegas will definitely be in it, but in the end, I'm going to predict a New England win 28-21. The next game is going to be the Washington football team at the Cleveland Browns. Um, So definitely a matchup that really I think not a lot of people are going to pay attention to. Um, I'm going to pick the Browns to win here. I think that the Washington football team, they had their win versus the Eagles. But um, as I'll get into with a minute with the Eagles um, game... I don't really think that the Eagles are all too that good. Um, so, I do predict the Browns to win. I mean, it is in any given Sunday, but I do see the Browns really winning. Um, I think a lack of offensive talent still with the Washington football team that comes into play. So, I do predict the Browns to win. Next game on the docket is going to be the 49ers staying in New York to play the New York football Giants. Now, they this is their second straight game in New York for the 49ers. Last week, their whole team basically died out. Nick Bosa out for the season with an ACL. Jimmy Garoppolo, high ankle sprain. Raheem Mostert's injured. Solomon Thomas most likely out for the season with an ACL. So, the 49ers are going to have to rely on the depth. And they're going to really have to rely also on the secondary. Now, the Giants lost Saquon Barkley and brought in Devontae Freeman. Devontae Freeman's not productive anymore. Can't match up to what Saquon Barkley was for the Giants. So, I'm still going to expect the 49ers to win this game. But I necessarily wouldn't be shocked if the Giants won. I think we're looking at a defensive battle in this game. And it's going to come down to who can play better with 
depth. And I do think that the 49ers do have still enough to be able to pull it off. So I am going to expect the 49ers to win this game 19-13 in a very sluggish defensive battle. The next game we are going to cover is the Cincinnati Bengals visiting the 0-2 Philadelphia Eagles. Notice how I say the 0-2 Philadelphia Eagles um, facing the 0-2 Cincinnati Bengals. This really is a must-win game for Philadelphia if they want any shot at the playoffs. And I am going to give Philadelphia a win here. I think that there's too much at stake in this game for Philadelphia. You know, Carson Wentz, this is kind of like his prove-it game. You know, you, they are getting some of their pieces. You know, they got Lane Johnson back last week. They should be getting, you know, some of their weapons back soon. But they really got to win this game if they want any shot at the playoffs. So, I feel that the Eagles win this 23-13 but if they don't win this, they should just put the season down the drain. But I do expect the Eagles to win 23-13. Next game we are going to cover is the Chicago Bears, who are 2-0 and going to Atlanta and facing my 0-2 Atlanta Falcons. Um, coming off of that, we all know what happened on Sunday. I'm going to pick the Bears to win. And... As much as I want to pick the Falcons to win, as much as I want to believe they'll turn it around, this team has started 0-2, and, and I don't think that after what happened Sunday, there's any logical way that they can turn it around. I seriously do think that this could be Dan Quinn's final game coaching the Atlanta Falcons. I would not be shocked if Raheem Morris is the new coach of the Atlanta Falcons starting week four Monday night versus the Green Bay Packers. And the Bears got a great defense. Mitchell Trubisky, I do think we will be able to slow down to an extent. We won't allow him to have a really big day, but I believe that the defense is probably going to rattle us a little bit. And I do think that the Bears will probably end up winning 24 to 17. So next game we are going to cover is a battle of two undefeated teams with the 2-0 Los Angeles Rams going into Buffalo and facing the 2-0 Buffalo Bills. Rams definitely, probably out of the first two weeks, definitely to me, the most shocking team in the NFL. Um, So this is definitely an interesting game. Jared Goff. He is kind of reminding me of his 2018 form when he carried the Rams to Super Bowl 53. And Josh Allen just looks like a total MVP candidate, like one of the best quarterbacks in football. But overall, I am going to give Buffalo a win. It's the Rams having to go up to Buffalo. I know they had to go up to Philadelphia, which, you know, was kind of a test. But let's face it. The Bills are just better than the Eagles. Bills got a better defense. At this point, probably a better offense. And ever since getting Stephon Diggs, and Stephon Diggs versus Jalen Ramsey is definitely going to be an interesting matchup to watch. But I would honestly, you know, give the edge to Stephon Diggs. Um, not that Ramsey is bad. It's just I really think that Buffalo is kind of on a hot streak early on. Um, definitely will be a good game. A game that can maybe go either way, but I'm going to give the Bills a win here, 28-17. to 17. Next game we are going to discuss is the Houston Texans at the Pittsburgh Steelers. And <laughs> who are we even kidding? The Steelers are going to win this game. And honestly, I don't normally do like locks of the week, upsets of the week for these, but... If I were to pick a lock for the week, it would be this game. I seriously do not see a way that the Texans are going to be able to go to Pittsburgh and beat the Steelers. I mean, you know, Deshaun Watson, you got to feel bad for the guy. You know, the guy has no line. His receivers are dropping balls. That decision to trade DeAndre Hopkins was 
really just a flat out stupid decision as we saw it to be. Um, so I think that the Steelers defense is going to dominate Watts and dominate that O line. TJ Watts going to have a big game. The Steelers defense is going to have the, a big game. And I'm going to pick the Steelers to win 34 to 13. So the next game that we are going to discuss is the 2-0 Tennessee Titans going up north to the Twin Cities to take on the 0-2 Minnesota Vikings. Um, now, for the Vikings, to me, other than obviously the Falcons, they're the most disappointing team without the first two weeks in the NFL season. <laughs> um I am going to pick Tennessee to win. I necessarily wouldn't be shocked if Minnesota won, but I think that, you know, with them having Derrick Henry, I think that they're just going to pound that rock with him. And, you know, Kirk Cousins, they are just showing that, you know, signing him to that, you know, extension, you know, in March, you know, that that was not smart, you know. They should have just let this be his final year there. So, overall, I do expect a Tennessee win 24-10. to 10. I think that they will pound the ball with Derrick Henry. And Ryan Tannehill also had a really, really sharp game last week. So, overall, I think Tennessee wins 24-10. to 10. Next game is going to be... The Carolina Panthers visiting the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, so, with Christian McCaffrey being out, the Carolina Panthers are basically out. We all know Christian McCaffrey is basically the Carolina Panthers. And from what we saw from Justin Herbert last week, and assuming that he starts this week, <laughs> if he was able to do that against the Chiefs defense, which isn't the best, but is about a middle-of-the-pack defense. Imagine what he's going to do to this Carolina defense. I do expect big numbers from Justin Herbert and the Chargers, um, as I do think that the Chargers will win this game 36-20. to 20. I do think that um, guys like DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson, Curtis Samuel, I could see those guys maybe making a little impact, but... I just think that the Chargers are an all-around better team. And with McCaffrey being out, I do expect a Chargers win here. Next game is going to be the New York Jets visiting the Indianapolis Colts. And I'm going to give the Colts a win here. I don't really think there's much that needs to be explained. The Jets are just an all-around. They're just a bad team all around and the Colts got a win last week versus a Minnesota team well yes you can also make an argument that they were a bad team New York is just a worse team all around so I do expect an Indianapolis win in this one 30 to 10. Next game we are going to cover is going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers visiting the Denver Broncos um I'm going to give the Bucks a win here. And I the only reason I'm going to give them a win is because of the fact that the Broncos have so many entries. They aren't going to have Von Miller the entire season. Drew Locke is out. Cortland Sutlin is out. So many injuries. I really think this is going to affect how Denver plays in a significant way. And I do expect the Bucks offense to probably not gonna say have a breakout game but they will definitely you know have their fair share of plays and in the end I do expect the Bucks to win this one 26 to 13. Next game we are going to discuss is going to be the Detroit Lions visiting the Arizona Cardinals and the Cardinals you know Lots of people calling them must-see TV now, you know, really right up there with the Rams as one of the most shocking teams throughout the first two weeks of the NFL. Um, I think that it's not even a question the Cardinals are going to win. 
I'd probably put this as another one you can probably put as a lock of the week. I think that Kyler Murray is going to have a big, big day versus this Detroit defense. I feel that the defense and Chandler Jones will definitely get after Matthew Stafford. Buda Baker will probably have a pretty good game. And overall, I expect a Cardinals win 35-14. to 14. Next game we have on the docket to discuss is going to be America's Game of the Week, which is going to be the Dallas Cowboys going to Seattle and facing the Seattle Seahawks. We know what happened with the Cowboys last week. They broke my heart, came back, and won against the Falcons. And the Seahawks last week absolutely just, like, tortured that Bill Belichick defense with five passing touchdowns and I believe that's one of the only times he's ever allowed that um with him as the head coach of the New England Patriots I do think it will be close I do think that Dallas will hold their own in Seattle but I'm still gonna pick Seattle to win I think that with that secondary they have I think that Russell Wilson is going to cook that secondary um, with DK Metcalf, with Tyler Lockett, you know, with a slew of weapons for him, it's not looking good for Dallas' secondary. So I do also think that Dallas will also have their fair share of big plays, but I'm going to pick the Seahawks to edge them out in the end, 31-27. to Next game we have to cover is Sunday Night Football in New Orleans where Aaron Rodgers leads the Green Bay Packers into the Superdome to take on Drew Brees and the Saints who are coming off of that. <laughs> that, for me, amazing loss last week to the um, Las Vegas Raiders. But this game is definitely going to go back and forth. And I see a lot of people, you know, saying that you know, oh, the Packers are going to win by 10 to 13 points. I'm going to pick the Saints to actually win this game. I think that when you look at it, the Saints, it's just something with the Saints in Week 2, you know, being their biggest rival. Something with the Saints in Week 2 where they just don't really connect Week 2 like how they do the rest of the season, you know. I was right in my prediction video. I was telling the Saints fans, y'all were going to lose to Vegas, and it did happen. Now, I think that they are going to have a rebound and win versus Green Bay. It will no doubt be offensive. I think that if I could pick one game that would probably go into overtime this week, it is probably this game. But I am going to pick the Saints 31-28 to winning against the Green Bay Packers on Sunday night football. Final game of the weekend that we have, and it is a good one on Monday Night Football. Probably, to me, the game of the year. The Kansas City Chiefs visit the Baltimore Ravens, and when I tell you that these are going to be fireworks, they are Lamar Jackson versus Patrick Mahomes. We've seen it twice already. Both of them were in Kansas City, and the Chiefs won. This game will definitely be back and forth in Baltimore on Monday night. I'm going to give the Ravens a win here. I think that what we've seen the past two weeks out of Lamar Jackson, and I get that they weren't against two really good teams, but nonetheless, it's still, you know, just shocking how much he's improved as a passer and still has been able to keep, you know, his running ability so, I am going to pick the Ravens to win this one. Chiefs could definitely win. Mahomes will definitely have his great plays, you know, his out-of-the-world plays. Lamar Jackson also will have his out-of-the-world plays. But overall, I am going to pick the Ravens to win 43-40 to on Monday Night Football. So, that is going to do it for my picks for this week. We will see how right I was or how wrong I was, potentially. Um, I feel that overall, you know, just doing an overview, 
there are some games that I feel like, you know, like Pittsburgh Texans and, you know, Cardinals and Lions that I feel that there's no way that, you know, the Lions, or excuse me, the Cardinals and the Steelers are going to lose those games. But then there are other games like, you know, the Kansas City Baltimore game, the Atlanta Chicago game, the New Orleans Green Bay game, the Jacksonville Miami game that I feel could definitely end up going either way. But overall, um, we will see. Thank you guys for watching. And another week of NFL has arrived.